Hi, welcome to Calypso Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll see how to use variables. When you need to sort a temporary value or even to store values that you will be needing throughout the application, you should use variables. Calypso variables comes in three types, global, local and temporary. Global variables are available in any point of the application. Regardless of the form you're in, they are always available. You have up to 1000 global variables. There's several direct accesses to the global variables. You can browse them in this tab, in this button in the toolbar, or even in any expression editor throughout the application. In our menu form, let's add a message box action to display the content of global variable zero. So I'm going to expand the expression editor and double click global variable zero. Now we want to change its value to something. Now we can copy paste the message box and let's test our project. So as you can see, the variable starts as empty and afterwards assumes the value we've specified. It's even possible to check its type and value in this trace window. If we want, we can even edit it directly by right click change type or change value. This can be useful for you to test different scenarios without having to redeploy your application. So let's exit and we're back to the designer. Besides global variables, we also have local variables. Local variables exist at the form level. This means that each form has its own 100 local variables. To show you how it works, let's go to the products form and add a message box. To display the value of local variable zero. Let's set its value to local zero. Now, the message box afterwards, and I'm going to save. Now, in the customer's form, in the opening of the form, let's simply paste the same message box to display local variable zero's value. Test the application. First message box from the first form second message box and now if we open the products form we see that local variable zero it's empty and now it isn't it has the value we specified we close the form and open the customers form and you can see that it's empty this happens because they are actually two different local variables. One, it's from the form product, and the other, it's from the customer's form. And we only set the value to the one on the product's form. Just like the global variables, local variables can also be edited in the trace window. To do it so, we have to select the form from where the local variable belongs to and only the ones from it will be displayed. So we can select customer's local variables and no variable is displayed because we haven't actually used any variable. We've just displayed its value, but we can exit, we can go to the products. Okay, okay. And now, if we select here the products form, we can see that 
local variable zero holds the value local zero. Finally, we also have temporary variables. Temporary variables exist at the event level. This means that each event has 100 temporary variables available. You can use them just like any other. For instance, in the opening of the form menu, we've already set the value of a global variable. Let's make an identical example using temporary variables. So first, we display the value of temporary variable zero. Then we set its value, I'm gonna even copy and paste. So we set the value of temporary variable zero to temporary zero. Don't forget to message box again. Now, in the after open form event, we are also going to do a message box of temporary variable zero. So, we test the project. So, the message box related to the global variable. Again, global variable, and now the temporary. As always, it's empty at first, and now with holding the value that we've set. In the after open form event, we see that temporary variable zero, it's empty. Again, because they are two different variables. For organization purposes, it's useful to rename the variables we use. You can do that at any moment in your project. For instance, we can double click global variable zero and rename it to test. We don't need to change anything else. If we check the open form actions, the variable was automatically renamed. The same thing can be done for local variables. So if we go to the customer's form, local variable, we'll call it customer zero. If we check out the actions, it's already renamed. If we do the same thing in the products form, and call it products zero actions it's already the name for the temporary variables we can do exactly the same thing in each event there's a direct access to its own temporary variables here we can call it open form zero. It's automatically renamed, but check out that in the after open form it remains temporary zero. So we can call it after open form zero to properly distinguish them. We can even test our project one more time just to see that everything is still working as before, although we've been renaming the variables. Congratulations, you've concluded the tutorial about variables. See you on the next one.